Hey, hi friends. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic which is related with Swift UI and UI Kit. So like many times like we have confusion like you no, know, if I'm using UI Kit project whether I can use Swift UI component or let's say that if I'm using Swift UI whether I can use UI Kit component. So in this or sample I will show you that how I can move easily from a Swift UI view to a UI Kit a view and and the same vice versa so this project you might have seen if i uh, you have seen my previous video where i have explained you that how i can make an api call and fish data and populate in a list in swift ui so if you have not seen this video i'll share the link in the description down please pause this video and then come to this video again for the sake of this particular video i'll just give you a demo that this in this particular sample i have just taken a comment view where i'm showing a list of comment and when you click on that i'm just taking it to the comment detail view so this is my detail comment view okay so now if you see this navigation link is particularly responsible for taking from my comment view to detail comment view okay now i have created here a comment detail view controller okay see this is the controller which i have already created for you and in this controller i have taken three particular label okay and i have already made the ib outlets for that like one is email one is body and one is uh, name the same thing which i am displaying right now in the detail comment view like if you can see right now we have displaying these three component okay and this is my model okay now let's start coding so first what i will do i'll just write a init method here so I'm just taking the same approach of using MVVM architecture while moving from Swift UI to UI Kit and UI Kit to Swift UI so that you can implement the same while implementing it in your real time project. Okay. So I'm going to override the init method and uh, here I'll pass. Let's create an object of view model. So private where view model and this is going to be type of comment detail view model which I have created here okay, which contains just a comment model like when you tap on it I'm going to pass a specific comment okay and now this I'll pass as a dependency injection so it comes here and then self dot view model equals to view model and then I'll call super dot in it i'll pass the name name as xib name and bundle will be nil okay and that is asking me to implement the required initializers if you don't know what is required initializer i have uploaded a video on all the type of initializer in swift i recommend to watch it i'll set link in the description now this part is ready now what I have to do is I have to also update the UI. So once I call here, I'll just write here name label dot text equals to view model dot comment dot name. I'll just copy and paste it three times. Okay, now we are good. So now let's come back to our comment view. So this is the code which right now I'm using it to move from Swift UI to Swift UI. Okay, like on the click on navigation link, I'm going to detail comment view page. Now instead of going to it detail comment view, I'll be moving to UI kit. Okay, so for that, what we have to do, we have to implement something which is called UI view control representable. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to define a struct object with where we want to you know, navigate let's say that in my case i'm going to this particular so i'll just use the same name and i'll call it representable and this will confirm to ui view controller representable okay now once i confirm to it Let's first see what is this. So if you go here to the definition, basically it's a protocol 
and it have two method which you have to implement make ui view controller and update ui view controller okay so let's just implement both the method so make ui and then update ui so we are not going to use update ui view controller in most of the scenario we are going to use make ui view controller okay so let's forget about this method right now just focus on this method now if you see here we are returning a type of ui view controller instance okay that means we have to create the view controller where we want to go and then just return it so let's create our view model first so it is comment detail view model and now it asks for a comment object now this comment object is actually here and we are clicking the navigation link we are passing we're getting the comment and then the, the same thing we were passing the swift ui view now let's define that particular object here and then we'll come to later how we, we are going to populate this particular object but let's first define this and then i'm just you'll just pass this particular object here then the next thing is that create the vc object which is my comment detail view controller and then pass my view model object here then return vc okay now i'm done with this particular function now how to use this okay so currently we are calling swift ui now i'm just commenting this and now we have to use this particular struct that we have just created so here i'm going to write comment detail view controller representable and see now we have to pass this comment model and this is the same comment that we have right now okay now let's run it so if you see i am just following the same mvv architecture right now i have not break the architecture so you what data you have you, you need to pass you can easily pass into your view model and inject into your controller dependency so now if you click it it looks different because it's different from the swift ui view and see this is the same screen what i have created into my command detail view controller so now this is a ui kit component so you you'll get actually a lot of scenario where you have to use ui kit component into your swift ui project now going back takes here now clicking this button do nothing now why, why i have actually created this button let's say that now from ui kit you have to further go to swift ui now this is like a default coming back to swift ui but let's say that if i have to further navigate to a new swift ui component okay so for that i have just created a profile view okay now i'm just using text hello world or let's say that i i also have a profile view model for this particular so i i'm again not breaking my existing mvvm architecture at any place okay now i don't have any new model so i'll, I'll just pass the same model here also like no once you click it i'll just pass the same comment model to, to my next screen so let's define that model then so where comment model and this will be your type comment model and in it and let's take one more text in this let's say text of type string and uh, here we'll just write self dot comment model equals to comment model and also pass this a string here so self dot text equals to text so now my view model is ready i have both my comment model and a plain text okay so i'm going to use the same code which i have into my comments detail view so i take a v stack go here and just replace it okay so i will be needing my um, comment model here so let's define the view model using environment object property okay now why i'm using environment object i'll just tell in some time so environment object 
where profile model no i have to just write it like this this and let's take one more and on the top let's call it as title one and here i'm going to just pass that text thing okay so now my profile view is ready and it is okay we have title so now my profile view is ready so let's now try to switch from ui view controller to my new swift ui component that means here so for this we use a very uh, important concept that is called ui hosting view controller okay now first thing is that we are going to create my view model object okay now let's create a view model object so profile view model okay and this is going to take two things comment model comment model is already there in the view model so i can pass using view model dot comment and text i'm just passing my name so now my view model is ready now let's create a view object so profile view equals to profile view okay now how to pass my view model my view so that the view can access what i'm going to do i i'm going to pass this view model to my environment object now once i pass this view model to my environment object i can easily access this into my profile view because i am just navigating in the same hierarchy and if you remember when i was you know, like talking about environment object i told that you no know, like we can access the environment object variable within the same navigation view hierarchy so like when we are navigating from this list to this detail and again if i navigate from this detail to further one down page i am still in the same hierarchy okay so what i'm going to do is that let vc equals to ui hosting controller and root view and then we have to pass root view as profile view and then we can pass the environment object and this will be my profile view model so now once i set it i can use it across any it's not like that i can just use in in the profile view even even if i want if i have some let's say dashboard or any view down the same hierarchy i can still use it okay and then i will just navigate so self dot navigation controller dot Post view controller, then controller name, and then navigation true. Okay, let's create a lid, and this also is lid. Now we are done with coding. Now let's run it. So right now we are in the Swift UI. Click UI Kit. Click again to Swift UI. Back UI Kit, back Swift UI. So this is way how we can you know like navigate from between the UI Kit and the Swift UI easily. And this is like again very important question in terms of the interview. Like generally they will ask that if you have a UI Kit project, can you use Swift UI component or the vice versa? So that's all for today's video. Hope you really like this video. And if you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, and leave your feedback. Thank you.